hello, hello. How is everybody doing? Hanging in there, of course. I've been thinking, I've been studying lately, um, and actually the class I teach, and one of the phrases that keeps coming through my mind that I've been thinking about is, choose you this day whom you will serve. You know, it's a great scripture we read in the Bible, you know, and the second part is that, but as for me and my house, we shall serve the Lord. And you see that everywhere. Choose you this day whom you will serve. And I've been thinking about that as, as I've seen certain things in my life play out and certain things about choices we make, choices we make every day. And I was thinking, you know, a lot to my kids, you know, as they're at places in their lives where they're choosing certain things and they're choosing to do certain things. And there's so much, you know, so many choices and there's good, better, best. And that I almost wish the phrase was choose you this day whom you will serve and accept the consequences that follow. <laughs> that that's kind of something we forget about, that everybody wants to be free to choose and do whatever they want, but they can't choose their consequences. And that's something we go over again and again with our children. Yes, you are more than welcome to choose to break a rule. But you cannot, you don't get to choose your consequence. You know, the consequence is to doing that. And we don't want to, as parents, to be when they make a decision, you know, and you know it's wrong. You don't want to be like, oh, I told you so, like so many years down the road, because there's a real reason why you felt like that was a wrong decision. And so how do you, you know... When they're little and you can yell at them from running out into the street because of harm, when they're older and they're making decisions, it's so hard to let them make decisions. And sometimes we can't stop the consequences that happen. It's, it's so hard. And so you think as a loving Heavenly Father that He's the same way and that He, he wants us to choose to choose good, you know, he wants us to do certain things. And it's, um, you know, he's kind of given us guidelines. If you just stick with the basic 10 commandments, I'm not even talking about any other commandments, just stick with the basic 10, you know, and he's like, if you follow these 10 commandments, you will be happier. You know, that those are decisions you make. If you follow these, you know, it's better off. Like I, I always tell my kids, guess what? If you never lie, you don't have to worry about who you've told what to because you don't ever lie. And uh, my weakness is, or one of my strengths that I don't ever lie, one of my weaknesses is that I don't ever lie because I'm brutally honest. And so it's, it's just, there's a good, better, best. And it's, I'm thankful I listen to my parents when um, sometimes I had choices to make. And they said, you know, and they stopped me from making certain choices. The silliest one I can think of is uh, we were building a townhouse and we had a hallway. And my mom says, you do not want carpet in that hallway. And I was like, why don't, you know, it's, it would cost more for me to do, you know, hardwood floors on the whole main floor. And she's like, will you please trust me on this? You rather have hardwood floors than carpet that will just get, it's a hallway. It will just get ruined and you'll have to replace that. If you invest in, in hardwood floors right now, then you won't have to replace the carpet that, down the road. And that's just when I see off the top of my head. I trusted her. And maybe that's what it goes back to. Maybe my kids don't trust me <laughs> or, you know, but do we trust God and his decisions he has for us? Do we look at the long term or are we just doing things for now? Hey, this is an easy answer now. This is an easy solution now. But we need to look at the long view. We need to look at, you know, certain decisions we make will change and will affect the rest of our lives. And so, you know, there's certain consequences. And so listen to those who have your best interests in mind. Not just ones who will solve things in the short term, not things that, that's a quick fix. Because we know 
In the law of the harvest, when you plant things, it takes a while for things to happen. You plant, you seed, you water, you nourish, you do all these things. And to see, you know, a harvest, to see the fruit grow, it doesn't ever grow instantly. Rarely, rarely is an instant answer the right answer. A, a quick fix. If it's too good to be true, it's probably too good to be true, right? So just think about that as you're making choices that it may it is so tempting so tempting to choose the easy quick fix and i understand sometimes you just oh you just want to take the easy way out because it's just not the easy but the the answer right in front of you don't i'm tired of working or i'm tired of doing this i'm tired i i i understand that but you got to look at the long view you got to look 10 20 as long as, as far ahead as you can, and then make your choices. Trust me, I've, I've made many stupid choices and I wish I could go back and change them, but I can't. Choose you this day whom he will serve, but you gotta accept the consequences. So, I hope you all have a wonderful day. I hope everybody's doing great. I hope um, as things are starting to lift that we do see a light at the end of the tunnel. And I hope you're all well and safe at home. Have a wonderful, wonderful week.